Welcome to your AFN Benelux Update. I'm Airman Tori Fleck. 67 years ago, 12 U.S. soldiers from the 60th Infantry Regiment were killed as they crossed into Belgium from France to help liberate the country from the Germans. They were first to die during the Belgian liberation. Seven of the 12 gravestones are marked as known only to God. Every year, local Belgians and U.S. service members gather to honor sacrifices of these men. Crystal DeLahey, the daughter of the man who created the memorial, says people need to remember the sacrifices made during the wars. It's really important for the younger generation to know what happened here, what is Nazism, how it could happen, how it could arrive here, and uh, the, the, that men lost their life just to make us free, to be free to say what we want, to be free to do what what we want, and that's really important to Chrissy. There is always a push to conserve utility costs throughout military communities in an effort to save the government money. Encouraging military families to save 10% on energy costs can save the government $3,000 each year. Our goal is going to be to concentrate on those high consumers who are using at least one and a half times more than what a standard uh, family would use and go after them and make sure one that there's nothing wrong with their their utility systems and then two try and educate them on just how much energy they are using and how easy it is to turn a light switch off when when you're not using it during the day of course for more information on how you can cut utility costs contact your local housing office and for the latest news weather exchange rates and road conditions log on to benelux.afneurope.net that's your AFN Benelux update. I'm Airman Tori Fleck.